Hey, it's Guido coming at you with a tactics talk. Let's talk about capping. Talking about capping. Now, I had a video a while back where I basically laid out the idea that this is not a capping game. So, at the base of World of Tanks is hit point reduction, and destroying all the other tanks should always be your immediate goal as you go into the game from the beginning. However, there is a cap mechanic, which is to help us avoid some of the campier games put a little cap pressure on there and force out guys that might be camping and that's good. There's also the cap mechanic so you can sneak a win every once in a while. Sneak in there and steal one from somebody, another team that may be rolling you up. But in general I would say this is not a capping game. The purpose of the game is hit points reduction. Destroying all the other tanks, that's why we play the game. That being said, there are certain times when you should no kidding cap and sometimes when you should not and there's some judgment call times. So we'll take a look at five examples I've got for you. The first one we'll look at is, hey, it is not the time. You want to flank, you're seeing your own cap threatened, but you just keep on trucking to that cap and you end up losing because of it. When all you had to do was turn around, go back to your cap, clean up your own home base, and then you'd win the game. The second one will be an example of where we needed to cap. It was a hard-fought game, had gone on for quite a long time, and the only way we were probably going to win based on what was left was to hurry up and cap it out and get out of that place with a win. So the situation set up was such that we needed to cap. On the third one will be kind of cap question mark. It'll be a judgment call, an example of those games where, you know, we, we probably could have got away without capping, maybe, but it was probably a good idea that we ended up capping in winning that game. So I'll give you an example of that. The fourth one is going to be the no, why, no. Please, why did you cap? A game where I didn't even know the cap was happening and then the game just stopped and I looked at it and said, what on earth are you guys doing? And the fifth one will be just one example of many different situations where someone will make a critical error at the end game that will stop them from winning the game. And in this case, it is a situation where the enemy team is capping and a guy had a chance to stop us from resetting the cap, but he didn't do so. All right, so without further ado, let's go to the first one, which will be, hey, man, it is not the time. All right, and for our first example, which is not the time, you can see when you take a look at the mini-map down there, you'll notice basically what is going on. We have pushed here up on the west. There's only three tanks showing. We've taken three tanks out. We only have a few defenders down here on the east side, and they have a few tanks shown. There's a lot of tanks unaccounted for, and you can guess where they probably are. So as we are now cleaning up on this flank, I'll go two times speed just so it's a little faster. You can see that we continue to push in the E100, the heavies, the T-34, or T-30, the type. Everyone's working on this KB-4. And I am noticing what's going on down here in the southeast. You can see that they've got quite a force, and we've only got a 155-58. They've got a couple tanks here, some of their tanks here. There's still two up here in the north defending their cap that has to be dealt with. So if we continue pushing on to their cap, we've got two tanks to deal with and some unknowns one or two of which may be around here. They have four tanks coming in and we've got one already and a T-32 and maybe a WZ. So at this point, if we don't all student body left and come back down here and defend our cap, you can probably figure out what's going to happen. And unfortunately, what happens is our main force pushes on to their cap instead of paying attention. So they are enamored of the cap we are slightly ahead, but now they're on our cap. I make a mistake. I futz around with this patent when I should have just come in and tried to reset. And then the 1390 comes in and owns me. Patent comes around, takes me out, and I am unable to reset the cap. Probably would not have mattered, or clearly would not have mattered, even had I gone in there, because now that you look at it, they've just swarmed the cap. We continued to push, but they were already on it, and if these tanks... There's nothing they can do. See, there was still another defender sitting back there as well. Had they all turned around and come, maybe we'd have got enough tanks back in time to start resetting them 
and we did out muscle them as far as an E100 and a Type 5. Now, of course, they're slow, but if that E100 had come down this way, we may have had a chance. But either way, this was clearly not the time for us to cap. You could see the setup was pretty much written on the wall or written on the mini map. And unfortunately, my team chose to go to the cap, and they'll end up getting out capped, although somebody jumps off right there real quick. And they're going to jump on attempting to cap. They're all piling on. Finally, we get some guys coming back down. And it ends up being a draw. And I probably said they ended up winning, but they didn't. In any event, obviously a time when us jumping on the cap was not the right answer. Should have all just come right back to our cap. They'd all been together. Probably would have been able to get at least one reset in there. So there you go. There's an example of, hey man, it's just not the time. Next up is an example right here of when we actually needed to cap to win the battle. You can see that this battle has been progressing for quite a ways. We are a little bit ahead as far as tanks go, but you see the 110E4 down on the bottom. And the southeast is in trouble because he's well outnumbered by what they have left of their tanks. We've got a couple already sitting here. I've been moving back and forth up here in the northwest as his, has this other bat chat. And our grill is up over here. So I'm trying to come up here and help the 110E4 trying to get up there and then he dies right about there so we've lost him now I'm gonna scoot out of there and head back this way and I'm going at chipmunk speed here just so this goes a little faster now you can see we're down to 4v4 and their grill is pushing up on the cap I am on a reload so I'm gonna go back here and I'm going to attempt to reload and help our grill deal with their grill and whatever pushes up so right now I'm still thinking on the reload so just keep on going I've already got it in my mind that I might need to cap and then our grill dies and I'm still not on reload so I continue on up towards their cap and I'm looking for their arty hopefully I can take out their arty back here we still have a grill back there on the cap so things aren't looking too bad but he's moving away from the cap so of course I don't know which way the 110 E5 went and now I'm looking for their arty so I'm not exactly committed to capping yet. And now that I don't find their arty up here, that brings our 110 or our bat chat 15558, the other one. And you can see that one of their tanks has jumped onto the cap. Probably the 110 E5. Grill gets the 5558. And we've got two on cap. So unless we get splashed by the T92, we should have this sorted out. And it looks like he's dove off cap. He's probably charging in, attempting to do something, maybe get close enough to snap his shot off and get lucky. But an example of, as we got to that point, they were pushing up on our cap. I ran over to this way. As an arty, I can still support. If we still need to fight, no problem. And I believe this was a good example of a game where we needed to cap just to ensure the win. And that thing will just count down. I believe the 110E5 shows up somewhere in the middle right at the end. There he is. I'll just snap a shot up, but I don't get any damage. And we end up winning that one on a cap. So there you go, an example of needing to cap. For the third one, let's take a look at a judgment call. Unfortunately, I potatoed early on this game, but I was spectating to see what would happen. You can see that my team is significantly ahead in tanks, although the team players aren't that great. The other team isn't outstanding as well, but they've got a blue player and a green player over there. And you can see that the red team has the hill, and they're coming down the hill on the northeast. There's a proto guarding the cap and there's an arty sitting on cap and the rest of our tanks are sort of pushing over to their cap now had all of our tanks pushed back to their cap right this moment to their own cap right this moment then we probably would have been able to clean them all up based on our guns you can see that they continued to push in and because a couple of them pushed in this was probably a good call because you can see that the red team is now pushing onto cap and there's only this hellcat 
the M40, and maybe the IS-3. You'll see that the IS-3 sort of sits there for a while, and we've got three on capping right now. Just about to win it. Now they got one on cap. Looks like we took a hit on cap. And we're going to end up winning it. So this one was the judgment call. I think it was the right call overall for the skill level of the guys and where the tanks are. We've got guys camping up on the hill up here. There's just an IS-3 that took a really long time to kind of get back over and protect the cap. And just the one Hellcat right there. So had all three of those been able to pile on, they may have come close to capping this out, or at least tying it. So I'm really not that upset with those three guys grabbing this win on the judgment call. Again, it could go the other way. And had they all gone back to the cap earlier, easily could have cleaned up the rest of those four enemy tanks. But in order to get the win on the way that this game went on this setup, probably a good decision. And that's a good example of one of the judgment call type of caps. All right, for our fourth example, this is going to be the no why. Why are you doing this example? Just a quick glance, you can tell that we are handily winning this battle. We have the hill. We own the hill. There's one heavy on the backside. They've got some guys out here kind of out of position. They're coming around with some mediums over here. We have all kinds of guys that can come off the cap, take up positions here. We own this middle part. We can shoot to all these different areas. These guys can push up. They're going to take out that heavy. This is a pretty easy cleanup game. Some cap pressure is fine because they know they've got to come to have any kind of chance, but we've got three guys on with 23 seconds. During this battle, I didn't actually notice this was happening. End up missing that. And I start heading down here because I know the south passageway here is about to have enemies come up and over it but you can see that the three that are on cap have stayed there the entire time sitting there and capping four three two one and now you can see that all of their tanks are lit up we have a good opportunity to clean up the rest of these guys there's no real reason for us to be capping on this one we're ahead by so much so some easy hit points we could have picked up right there and that's a, a pretty good example pretty solid example of when you don't need to be capping when you should come off cap and help everybody clean up get some more hit points get some more experience increase everybody's benefit from winning the game as opposed to capping it at the end right there in a situation where you didn't really need to all right our last example here we're going to talk a little bit about end game as far as capping goes and in this case i'm going to show you a critical error you can see that this game is pretty close there's three of us left there's five of them there's about to be fewer because i found they're already come up here take out the gw you can see that the 4502 has a t54 busy down there and we've got a 5916 that was last seen over by the cap so there's the low, so we know everyone knows that it's the 5916 that's on cap right now. And there's a T-54 between me and him. Now we've got the low coming up. And I am just headed to cap. Because I know that I am probably the only guy that's going to be able to make this happen. Our low is fighting their low, probably too slow. The 4502 is dealing with the T-54. Now this T-54 could easily stop me from getting to the cap. And what I probably should have done is just kept trucking. But I'll take a shot. He's sort of paying attention to 4502, and I am trying to figure out how do I get past this guy? And then I say, well, I guess that's how I get past this guy. He just let me go. So that was a critical error on his part. Look at the 4502's ignoring him too. You want to run away? That's fine. All he had to do was stop me from getting by him. Probably the 4502 wasn't even going to make it. But the 4502 wisely is headed towards the cap. And even the low is coming back. He has no hope at all, but he's trying to come back and figure it out. So this is going to be a very close thing. Just even one, one more attempt at me, another five, six seconds on the part of the T-54 and he'd have had this dope. 
That guy just machine guns me down. Not a thing I can do. I'm trying to get away. No, please don't kill me. I end up hitting him once. Low kills the low. I know that the 4502 is coming in there. Oh, he sees me. Here comes the 4502. The guy's spotted, so that'll work out for me. Oh, bummer. He was looking at me. We end up killing that guy off. And they actually get the T-54, and this ends up being a win for us. So there's one of the critical errors when capping and it's screening. It usually boils down to somebody not doing their screening, screening the guy that's on the cap. If you're going to try for a cap like that, you've got to stop the enemy team from getting to the cap, even if it means sacrificing some hit points there to do that. Now, it may have been in the T-54's mind that he just wanted to plain old win the game, but that was kind of unlikely with the forces that were left, especially with a 4502 Bravo. He was going to have a hard time taking that guy on. Plus, our low was in good shape as well. Other examples are you're sitting on the cap and you put three or four tanks on a cap on an encounter mission, which has a slower countdown. And instead of having a bunch of tanks screening and maybe one tank on the cap, you put the three or four on the cap and then you just get massacred because you're sitting on the cap and everyone knows where you are. Which is another point. If you're going to end up jumping on the cap, you clearly just let someone know where you are. And when it gets down to small numbers like you saw here because I could count noses I knew exactly who was on the cap so that gave me some SA and I knew if I could get to him I could probably reset him with one shot from my type 64 so just some more things to think about an example among many of a critical error that stopped the team from winning more than likely had he stopped me from getting by him then he'd end up winning that game and that's it for the capping series I hope that helps you guys decide when it's good to cap and when it's not good to cap. Sometimes it's a judgment call, but quite often it's very clear one way or the other that either you did need to or you didn't need to, and I would always err towards don't cap. Pretty much win a flank, head back to your cap, and reset it unless you have a very good reason not to. Take it easy.